I put a hundred players on two rafts in an ocean separated by a bedrock wall. They were tasked with one goal, survive and make society. Will they survive until doomsday when the players battle it out, or will they die? The only resources they have are items that randomly spawn in the water nearby them. This is the raft experiment. The first day began with the self-named Team Vanguard quickly expanding their raft and setting up vital farms that would fuel them for the rest of the event. Over on the other side, most of the other team who were named Team Agony instantly left their raft on boats in search of treasure. Two players named Captain Cody and TG Dude found a yacht filled with angry pillagers and vindicators. Since players have five lives, they were able to successfully loot it, only losing one life each. And after looting the yacht, they became the wealthiest players on the entire server. As the day went on, both teams began constructing bases. Team Agony built a very organized and simplistic base. After completing a lot of construction, they chilled out the other side together. But the other team was in complete chaos with multiple players fighting and killing each other. The election was about to take place, in which players would vote for a leader who would be given a special golden crown that would give dolphins grace and resistance to water. Over at Team Agony's base, the candidates began to give speeches. I may not have a bunch of emeralds, you killed or a bunch of YouTube subscribers. Oh gosh. Poggers. Yeah, you killed Poggers! Get him off of- get him off the stage! So I may not Whoa! have- Silence! I will shoot you all right now if you do not oh, no. listen. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it. I, I, I dare you. I, we're all going down. You do that, we're all going down. I'll go down with you. Everything. Yeah, you know, you know, guys, Before the fence is on top. I want to address the like elephant in the room. We are in the middle of nowhere. The Lord Anais has said that the other team has ended up in fights. Our nation will be the best of the best. I will make sure we will win this war and go home in victory. Yeah. I may not be stacked in the way you guys may think, but I as sure as hell am a good leader, PvPer, and lover. I love this nation what? as as should you. You guys should vote for Oya. Uh, here's some free gaps, free gaps, oh, free stuff, Ooh. other side disc. Oh, yeah. First vote. It's for Ouya, second vote, for Ouya, third vote, yeah. for Ouya, fifth <laughs> vote, or fourth vote, for Ouya, oh. another vote for Ouya, what, um, one vote for Bush, another vote for Ouya, Mob Regan, and Ouya, okay, yeah, Ouya wins yeah. in a landslide, six right, votes. I'd like to give a victory speech, we'll I'd like to give a victory speech, we will win this event, I promise, I promise, guys, we will win, we will win. The player Ouya easily won with the majority of votes, but over at the other base, there is a lot more competition. I didn't really do anything on the raft, but hear me out. The leader is going to get a crown. I want the crown because I'm literally one of the best at PvP. I can send everyone a picture right now. I am top four in the PvP legacy leaderboard, and I can give you anvils for enchants. Okay. Thank you everyone for listening and taking the time. After the powerful speech from Strath, it looked like he was guaranteed the win. But another player named Bacon Lover also wanted to be king and prepared to give a speech. I'm like all y'all in the sense that I just want to build this. I got us a, a, most of the uh, crops and stuff. I am good at talking to people. I created the holy book. Well, technically, okay, I found the book and then I gave it to A's to rename. But I would like to be leader because uh, I think I could help the team uh, best. Thrath <laughs> has three votes. Bacon Lover has three votes and Neon has three votes. Any more votes okay. in the vote box? Uh. Okay! So, uh, Bacon Lover wins. He got four votes. Yeah, Bacon, yeah, Lover. Yeah, Bacon yeah, Lover wins. Yeah, yeah. Bacon Lover had narrowly won the election over Scrath. He had done it by promising to give the crown to the best PvPer. But after winning, he went back on this decision. And it would come back to bite him later. The only other eventful thing 
to happen was a player named Lowface DK killed multiple of his team but was killed and had to surrender. With that, the first day ended. The second day began with a build competition, which a solo player named ZippyBlue2 won. Afterwards, players continued expanding their bases, but little did the leader of Team Vanguard, Bacon Lover, know a rebellion was about to happen. Scrath, being unhappy that he had not been given the crown after being promised it, began gathering a group of elite fighters to overthrow the government, and while players were distracted building, Scrath launched his attack. So gun power. I'm sh we are starting? Oh. Yes, yeah, start. Dude! Dude, I'm- We're gonna go right. now, dude. Nah, well, no, what we should do? No! And then we right, should, um, like, like, Wait, users- Wait, Scrath is killing! They, like, they Hold have, they, on! Scrath is killing everyone. This- This- The Civil War! Yo, shoot! The Civil War! Yo, we need to go! Why the heck was I- Wait, why- why was I- kill you once, take your count, and I'm not gonna kill you again. I'm just telling you that. I can just aim you. Well, why, why, why would yes. I want to- Why would yes. I want to when you already lied to me? No, it's oh like, my it's gosh. It's over. Why are you killing everybody? Why are you killing everybody? I didn't kill anybody, bro. I just- I just misclicked. I misclicked. Scrath had achieved complete victory, and Bacon Lover was forced to give him the crown. But even after being given the crown, Scrath had no mercy. Not all deals are true. The small band of rebels who had taken over Team Vanguard now had to fight off Team Agony who had 20 more players in them. Scrath's plan was to a surprise attack Team Agony. Players waited for the walls to fall. And finally they did and Scrath's final assault began. Whoa, oh. What is Scrath doing? It's like a 10v1! How did you guys get away? Oh my gosh, I'm being like 1v5 right now. Oh, this keeps on because we didn't respawn. Wait, why are we no, alone oh, here? Oh no, oh no. Dead. Let's see. Oh, no, it's over. It doesn't I'm dead. Let's see. Scrath had killed his teammates. He had mercilessly slaughtered dozens of players. But he had won the event. Hey guys, I'm here for the final battle. Bro, where is everybody? Where did you guys go? Thank you for watching this far. There is a link in the description for the Discord. We have fun events. I promise you will have fun. Thank you to Honk slash Amazing Tank for custom coding this entire event. It really helped out. Thank you to Corestone for helping me moderate. And thank you to all the players that came out and participated. It was a really fun event. And thank you for allowing us to host these events. And hopefully we will have more in the future.